What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we're learning how to make a basic enemy AI. This video is going to be short and sharp, easy to follow, so let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and create the enemy blueprint. So, let's go to blueprints, blueprint class, and we're going to go and create a character because we wanted to have the ability to move and it will already have a capsule component etc so let's name it you know just bp enemy ai something simple and let's go ahead and open it okay so the first thing that we are going to do is just go into the mesh and you know apply like a character in my case i'm just going to put the the queen there we go and i'm just gonna put it into minus 80 and rotated uh, minus 90 degrees there we go so it's good place place it in minus 85 there we go it's compile and save of course you can place any character they want I'm just gonna you know place this one just to show you it's gonna be simple so we need to add a system that will allow our character to know uh, if we if the players in front of him so the best way and actually you can later expand this system a lot is just to add a pound sensing component you can see that we have a lot of different um you know values like the hearing threshold sight radius the angle if i if it can hear noises see pawns only sense the players etc so right now of course we're only going to use the uh vision so you know if only you know if it's see a player but i can make uh in the future another tutorial of uh, you know showing you how to make it that it go it can also hear you etc so let's get the, uh, the, the you know the angle just drop it a bit to around 70 so it's a bit less and around that is good so let's go down into the vents and just add one on the on c pound so this will trigger when the player just appears in front of him or any other pawn. but in case you know we only have the player so let's do it the first thing that we are going to do is create a variable saying is seeing player it's gonna be boolean and let's just drag it on here and set it and to activate it there we go great so right now we are going to create a custom event it's gonna be called follow player okay so in here we will place all the mechanics of following the player and on here we'll just say call me the follow player function great so now in the follow player event the first thing that we're going to do is go in here ask in a branch if we are seeing the player and if true we get to make an ai move to this one so this uh, blueprint right here will allow us to uh, basically move this enemy blueprint into the destination that we want in this case it will be our player now there are two ways of actually making AI in the engine you can make um, like I'm making it in the blueprint way or behavior trees now behavior trees is more advanced which is something that I can show you in further tutorials but for now, I want to show you the basics of, you know, an AI enemy. So let's go to the simplest that is using the blueprint. Okay, so in the pawn, this is basically the object that will move. So in this case, it's going to be self. Self, because it's, well, basically the, the enemy will move. And we, if we place a target after, we don't have to place a destination. It will actually automatically pick. So the target actor will be the pawn that we saw here. But we can just, you know, say get player character. So it will always follow a player. Of course, if you want also to follow another actor, you can just plug it into the pawn here that it detected. But anyway, so let's do one more thing here basically first of all let's drag our enemy 
AI on here facing that way so I can show you how it will pick us if we go in front of him but in order to make the AI move inside the Unreal Engine we need to go ahead and add a nav mesh bones volume basically inside this box it's gonna create an area that will calculate all the possible routes that the AI can move so let's go ahead and just make it as pretty much as big as the the scene and then we hit P we can visualize all the areas that the AI can move through let's make it a bit bigger and that's pretty much a good start so P again we will hide the preview and if we press play you can see that the eye it isn't moving but if we get in front it automatically starts following us until well never it, it, it was it will always be following us because we haven't you know said that will not of course it doesn't have animations we will make them in a second actually let's make them before we actually do the combat system so i'm just gonna go into content animations and in here, I'm gonna create a new folder called AI. And then what we are, what we are going to do is just create a animation plan space 1D. I'm gonna select the first skeleton, which is of this character. If you have any other player or character, you basically assign that skeleton. And this is gonna be the walk plan space 1D. So this will allow us to change between two animations the idle walk and run in a correspondent way in the horizontal axis so in here we will name this speed and the maximum speed will be 600 which is the maximum speed in the character component that the you know character the air can walk so we're gonna set that in the horizontal axis now let's find our evil animation of course if you have any other uh, animations for your character you know place them so we're gonna place the evil all right into the left we're gonna search the walk and um, let's just get this one and put this in the middle and I don't know if I have a run one yeah, have a run. Okay, let's get this one and put it in the end. So if I now um, press control, so hold control and then move the mouse around this, you can see as the speed increases, the animation will blend into the walk and then into the run, you know, uh, depending on the speed that the character has. Great, very easy to understand. Now let's go and we need to create an animation blueprint which will make is it basically an it's like a blueprint for the AI but of animation let's select the skeleton ap enemy ai or however you want to call it open it and on here instead of making a lot of locomotions we can do one thing and it's our blend space the walk blend space that we just created you know just search it in the asset browser if you don't see it basically drag this one and then connect this one in here and then the speed variable we will control it from the event graph in here so just go ahead right click promote variable enter and basically we'll create a speed row i just compiled and it automatically placed the idle one because the speed right now is zero so in the event graph right now in the blueprint uh, update animation what we're going to do is from the try get pound owner so we get the owner of this animation and say cast to bp enemy ai that is the you know the blueprint that we created and what we're going to get from that one is the um, get character movement 
okay we don't need that the character movement component so we can get the velocity and we'll convert this velocity into a vector length so we can have it as an uh, float and then we'll go ahead get our speed and we will say that the vector length of the velocity will be the same as the speed great so right now if i go into the blueprint go into the mesh and an animation blueprint the anim class i say the enemy ai compile on save and then i press play you will see how now the animations will be playing automatically and blending perfectly great so now let's make that actually they can attack us at least playing the animations so in order to do this well first of all in the acceptance radius is basically the radius that the um enemy will uh, when, when it reaches you it will stop so it was getting very close to me so I'm just gonna pop this into around 70 all right you can customize of course all of these values but this will work right for me let's get this out of the way now on the on success okay we're gonna create a new variable say can attack that of course is gonna be boolean 2 and we're gonna just go ahead get here and say branch and then the unsuccess basically if we can attack okay we'll say okay now we'll set can attack to false because we don't want to attack again because we are currently attacking and we'll go ahead and say play a name montage it basically will just play an animation uh, without needing to set it up on here now i think that we have to do for the animation montages it just make a new slot so just drag this one here and say default and basically the default slot is the default um slot <laughs> that the um when you create an animation montage they play in my case i already have one which is the um one of you know punching um you can check like i said my combat system uh video that i will link in the description too or a card uh, right in the screen but anyway so if i right now go ahead and test this if i get too close to him and then reaches okay nothing happens with <laughs> okay uh, can attack we need to set can attack so uh when it follows the player i'm gonna set can attack to true and then when we are playing animation montage i'm gonna delay this and the duration is going to be the duration of the animation and then gonna set can attack to true again so we will set can attack to false when we are attacking so it won't like spam all the times attacking but when i finish the animation of the attacking so the attack will finish it will attack again so now press play if i go here it will chase me it will stop and then it will attack once once again but of course like not spamming like breaking the animation it will make it great so of course it's working right now we can also make one more thing and is that if it's not seeing the player we're gonna say set is seeing player to false and on the on tick we'll make a thing that is a branch asking if we're not seeing the player so basically false yeah uh, we'll get our character movement and say stop movement immediately so false here so it will basically stop following us if it loses track of us which is a bit hard to do <laughs> because he's always following me but i can look i can trick him to go to the back side of him and he will lose me but even if i go back to him he will continue attack me 
great that's pretty much it guys if you want to go ahead and um see my other videos of unknown gene you can go ahead and check them out and uh also if you actually want to make the ai actually uh, affect my health which will also include a health tutorial video please leave it in the comments like subscribe and i'll see you next i recommend seeing the combat video so you know you will learn how to make animation montages and also uh, well, make the player attack of course and yeah that's basically it so i will see you bye bye like subscribe and comment bye bye